Okay, this next part. Why is this like this? Okay, oh, my stomach just growled. Um, this next part I find very important to mention. I've There's never talked to. One There's side always says I... side. They were right. You know, Amber Heard um, <laughs> decided mm -hmm. to take a bottle in a rage because she's got a, a, a problem. And so she uh, decides to take this bottle and chuck it at, at Johnny Depp. And he loses yes. a big chunk of his finger. You know, he plays mm -hmm. guitar. No big deal. Two sides of the story. It's no big deal. Right? Yep. Right? Except it is a big deal. You can oftentimes see where someone's more problematic in, in a yes. cycle, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so what you're you doing when you say, "Oh, there's two sides of the story," is what's called a middle ground policy, mm -hmm. and it's saying, "Well, the the obvious truth is somewhere in the middle." And it, it's yes, logical at first, but it's actually a logical yeah. fallacy. I just want to point. Isn't there also a logical fallacy about like something about compares comparing two events as though they're equal? I, I'll be honest with you. I've read all this shit, and and it's not that I'm I'm not unaware, but Philosophy is one of the most boring fucking subjects. Like, I'm fascinated about the ideology about a lot of different philosophies of life. But when it comes down to the structure of philosophy, like the the fundamentals of it, the the premise, the, the concepts, and, you know, whatever, the mechanics of it, I, I, it goes in one ear and out the other. I don't give a fuck, whatever. And and, la and name, the naming of the logical fallacies, like none of the names even make sense to me. I, it, they're not logical to me for each fallacy. Like they're just not, whatever. Anyway, but I do believe that there's a logical fallacy about, well, you know, if this is true here, then it must be true here. Some shit like that. Um, false equivalence, I think, is something like that. Anyway, just want to point that out. <laughs> okay, and I also want to point out that much like the fallacy, that fallacy explains, one situation is not equal to another situation. That Amber Heard and Johnny Depp and the f missing finger there is not at all comparable to Steve possibly forgetting about a bunch of tweets. Come on. Anyway, and I also want to point out about the two sides to every story thing. Sure, you're right in that either he did tweet about her, her kid the X amount of times or he didn't. Okay, sure. But you're using this as an argument to discredit this man, to to paint him as some horrible man or the, paint him in this, this very negative in light in which no one should ever give him the time of day. This is the argument you're trying to make here. So it's not just simply the facts of the matter. You're arguing an opinion. That's what you're doing. So when it comes to an opinion about things or a recollection of things that from from a perception standpoint then yeah there are two sides to every story because you're literally talking about the different sides now if you're talking about the mechanics of it either something happened or something did it then yeah you're right there aren't two sides there is a much harder to be subjective in my opinion so it seems like that might be another logical fallacy in your argument but sadly i can't say which one <laughs>